With the major championships done for another year, attention now turns to the PGA Tour playoffs. Starting this weekend with the Barclays at Liberty National Golf Club in New Jersey. It kicks off a manic four-tournament, five-week period with players fighting to stay alive and claim a place in the Tour Championship with a shot at winning the FedEx Cup itself. With Lady Liberty and the Manhattan skyline in the background, Golfing World headed to the first event to find out more about the playoffs. Shake it. The original intention was to um, just get the best players going against each other more often to provide that season-ending um, thrilling championship. Every other sport kind of has that, you know, whether it's the Super Bowl, the World Series, or the NBA Final, has that finality. It truly is, the, you know, the, the Super Bowl of, of the PGA Tour. It is that season finale. After the after the PGA, um, it, it used to have a big lull in the, in the in the season until the Tour Championship. Right now, has as a as a big finish to the year. So uh, I think everyone's starting to embrace the the playoffs and, and, and enjoy them. One good week uh, can really shoot you up the board. So um, obviously, every tournament's worth five times the amount of points than for a regular tournament. So you know it's a, a lot to play for, and uh, yeah, a big pot of gold at, at, at the end of it. That pot of gold is the $10 million bonus presented to the winner of the FedEx Cup. After the regular season finishes, the top 125 players enter the playoffs, and that's where the fields start to get whittled down tournament by tournament. 125 to start, 100 get to the next event at the Deutsche Bank Championship, 70 get to the next event at the BMW Championship, and then 30 move on to the Tour Championship by Coca-Cola. All of the, the big players have bought in. Um, you know, you see four weeks in a row, four out of five weeks, the McElroy, the Tigers, the Bubba Watsons, the Phils of the world going up against each other, playing head-to-head, -head, and it's been really exciting. For those who make it to the final event, the Tour Championship points are reset, and Theoretically, anyone in the 30-man field can claim the FedEx Cup. Making the top 1-2-5 in the first playoff tournament was the priority for Australia's Greg Chalmers, though, as he stood on the 10th tee at Greensboro in the last regular season event. As I was lining up, I saw the scoreboard right behind me, and it said my projection was 127th. Greg Chalmers projected 127th currently, so I thought, well, you better start making some putts here. So anyway, I made it for par, and then I birdied three holes coming in. I played really nicely the last eight holes. But, you know, to have your whole season come down to how you play that, that eight-hole stretch, quite possibly, um, it was uh, it's some pressure there. Not every player in the top 125 is focused on the jackpot. High finishes guarantee good starts in the following season's biggest tournaments. Basically, the higher you finish this year, the better your outlook for 2014. So the ultimate goal for a PGA Tour member in the playoffs really depends on who you are. The thing is, you have 125 guys here that can win. And when you have 125 guys here that can win, you're, you're playing against the top players in the world. And to be able to play against them, it, you really get to see where you are. At the end, if you're playing good golf, the, the points are going to come. And you know that, that's our main thing. And, our, and our, our one goal we have not reached yet is you know, top 50 in the world. Never been exempt into the majors. Like the, I've only ever played the Open and the PGA. I've never played uh, the British Open or the uh, Masters. So my goal would be to be exempt straight into them and take, take all the way out of qualifying. Obviously, when uh, Sneds won last year, he, uh, and he won the tournament as well, it's 11 point something million. You know, that's a pretty good chunk of change. But that's not something I'm thinking about right now. I'm thinking about trying to win this tournament and get get myself into a position to have a chance to win that. It gets people talking about, like, is it right? Is it wrong? And I think. Um, as long as people are talking about golf, that's all that matters. Um, it, it's volatile. Um, you can go from where I am and win $10 million um, if you play well in a four-week stretch. That's a pretty big if. Take a look at the winners since the FedEx Cup started in 2007 and you see world-class players peaking at just the right time to claim the trophy. Being known as the FedEx Cup champion has already climbed very high on the list of achievements for a member of the PGA Tour. When you're talking about the Hall of Fame or when you're talking about career achievements, you hear Jim Furyk, well, he's won a major, he's won, you know, double-digit PGA Tour events and he's won the FedEx Cup, or Grant Snedeker has this many victories and a FedEx Cup. Jim Furyk said when he won, um, he won the Tour Championship and he won the FedEx Cup in the, same, in the same event, and he was asked, you know, which trophy is more important? And he said, you know, I think all of the wins go inside this cup. Your season goes inside the FedEx Cup. And I thought that was a really good way of putting it.